Hello, welcome people. Welcome back to Stylish Ninja channel. Today on our DIY video, I'll be showing you how to cut this simple play gown. So, your scissors, your tape, your chalk, and of course the measurements in four simple steps. Step 1. Spread your fabric on the plain surface. Step 2. You mark the fabric in accordance with your measurements. Step 3. Join the points you've marked. And step 4. Cut the fabric. Simple, right? Now let's see. Spread your fabric on the plain surface. First, before we start, let me use a piece of paper to make an illustration for you so you have an idea of what we are going to be doing. I'm just making a rough illustration here just to make it easier. That's the shoulder part, the arm hold. Then of course that's the shape. This is what the shape of this flat dress is going to be looking like. Then the neck. That's it. That's what we'll be doing. So now you, let's start with the upper part. This part, that's that part, the upper part. First you measure to cut out your shoulder. Whatever the person's shoulder is sheared into two, mark the fabric in accordance with your measurement. That's the shoulder. Share if it's too thin, you use seven and a half. It depends on the shoulder. That's the shoulder, you mark that part. Then for the armhole, we'll be using nine. You mark nine. Then you join. Join the point between the shoulder and the arm hole. That's the arm hole. Then measure out the length of the dress. Measure so it depends on your length, time, whatever you have your measurement. You walk it through 43. That's what I'm using for my length. Just walk it through. Make sure your tape is on top of the line you measured for the shoulder. Take it through. That's how to get the, the flake of the, 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 the top part of your tape should be on it. Then to get your boss, you come put your tape under the armhole and you measure your measurement. If the boss is 40, you divide by 4. So it depends on the boss. If the boss is 32, you divide by 4. But since it's a free dress, you have to make it excess.
them for the hip part to get your hip. What I normally do for an adult, you measure 19. That's the easiest way to get your your hip. Then you measure 10. This middle part between 19 and 20. Between 19 sorry between 19 and 30 you measure 19 then you add 10 to it then the, that's the middle part of it that's your your hip this is a free dress i'm just showing you so you can still use it for your fitted dresses measure and use five as your allowance since it's a very free dress you can increase it then you join your lines then cut out the fabrics after joining Cut the armhole out. That's done. That is it. The next thing you fold your fabrics to get the back part, you fold your fabric and place it on top of your remaining material. Then you cut out or well, through as you can see. Then to get the neck, cut out. Place both the back and the front together. Then measure out the width of the neck. I'm going to be using three and a half inch. Then to get the length, that part is allowance. That's sewing allowance. So that's why I place my zip, my tape there. get the back just follow it and mark as for the back three and a half if you can see and you put the back is usually higher than the front make your curve then you cut out Then for the front part, you curve out. Then you cut out. So as you can see, what I'm wearing is something like this. That's what we are trying to make. So I'm going to be showing you how to place your facing on top of your material. Just a, a little rough 
illustration. You place like this. You iron. Iron it out neatly. The edges. You fold it in. I'm just showing you, just making a rough sketch of the neck on it. Then you pin it before you sew. You see? It's really simple and easy. As you can see, this one is a round neck. So, it depends on what type of neck you want. You can make it round, you can make a V, whatever. That's why I'm using this rough sketch to show you in case you want to make a V neck on yours. And how to place it, you place and sew the edge, as you can see closely on this dress. So, it's neatly along the line the edges so this is it now after placing the facing on it as you can see it's neat and fine the next thing now I'm going to be showing you is how to fix the cold shoulder sleeve on it I'm going to be using four from the shoulder Then you place and sew along this line. To get your round sleeve on this dress, all you have to do is to divide the, the round sleeve of the person if it's 16, divide it into 4. If it's 20, divide into 4. Then you mark. I'm just using that measurement. I'm just telling you that it will be easier for you to understand. Then you place on it. That's it. That's the completed dress. So as you can see, it's beautiful and lovely. Try yours. Comment. And subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you next time. Bye bye.